Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to look at the concept of rich versus poor within our society. There's a very big argument about that nowadays, especially with all these quarantines and things that are happening and uh, just the state of the world in some way. I feel like there's really a sort of problem between the rich and the poor where, for example, companies are getting bailouts of money but then the rich are getting even richer because of um, the sort of jobs and the sort of uh, jobs that they can give to basically the medium class, the lower class and stuff like that. And I do feel that it's kind of important to understand that um, the poor are usually the ones that pay the most out of all the people in society. They're the ones that um, feel the effects of for example, a pandemic like now, they're the ones who feel um, if there's going to be a sort of natural disaster, they're usually for some reason, well, it just makes sense. Uh, I think that they just give like, um, I'll say like probably the places where they live the that are the most prone to getting into natural disasters and all that stuff. So I do feel that out of the rich and the poor there's always going to be a sort of fight because the rich want to stay within their own uh, wealth and they don't want to give up their power and the, the poor are always stuck within that kind of place where they're not able to ever uh, come up so they're kind of like drowning 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 and they're never able to uh, Come richer out of that and there's been sometimes um, some movement of power thanks to maybe even uh, platforms such as social media where regular people were able to all of a sudden become super famous or make money out of the celebrity statuses that they got from just posting videos or posting things from their street or from uh, their room or from uh, whatever so that's why I'm saying like it's a sort of sad battle where the rich understand that they would not want to give up what they have and then the poor they're always trying to fight to get some of the stuff that the rich uh, want and in some way and again until you've walked in somebody else's shoes it's hard to see their world and both of them are actually correct and that's why even whenever you'll see it within like politics where there's voting happening it's always comes pretty close to 50 50. it's always like a 46 or 47 48 to 52 53 54 and that's where uh, we can fight as much uh, and we should fight definitely if we're a poor person or whatever and we're trying to um, surmount things but in the end the first people who are going to Im be impacted by a lot of things in society in our society are often going to be first the poor and that's going to be the rich because the rich are the ones even releasing all the clothes the media all these things so obviously they're going to have more power it's just going to be easier for them and who's going to consume all that it's going to be the poor because whether they want it or not um, even if you want to boycott a certain type of food or whatever it is well if that's the only food available uh, you have no choice but buying it so that's it. That's all I have to say on the subject. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.